Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm doing a remake of a very popular soap. I loved it. It's Goat Milk Rose Quartz and I'll be using this fragrance from Bee Scented Rose Quartz. Oh wow, this is a pretty, pretty smell and it stayed really well. Uh, it has a great retention in cold processed soap. Smells good out of the bottle. Smells good after the cure. Two thumbs up from me. So obviously being a goat milk, we're gonna use that for our liquid portion is goat milk. And um, for my colors, I'm gonna be using this rose clay that I got from Brambleberry um, and it's so pretty. It's a blushy color. So I'll be using that, but I'm also in some of the swirl, I'm gonna amp it up a little bit with this one. Um, it's called Sexy Pink Slippers from Wholesale Supply Plus, but it's just really pretty. So I'll put a little bit of that in some of the pink swirl. So it's just going to be pink and swirly. I'm going to layer it. So I'll do a bottom layer and I'll do a mica line with this beautiful shimmer gold mica from Nurture. I mean, that's pretty. So I have my little tea strainer that I put it in here and bop it along. You can get these on Amazon and they're just kind of fun. <laughs> so that'll be my mica line. Um, and then on the top, I have these little sugar pearls. These ones I got from Brambleberry. And aren't those pretty? To me, these are just like rose quartzy looking. Um, and then I got these little pink ones just at Walmart. And um, they're basically the same. These were cheaper. I'll tell you, um, it's just a sugar pearl. So if they pop off, that's fine. It won't damage your drain. It's not, you know, plastic at all. It's edible. Don't eat it <laughs> on the soap. But sugar is really good for your skin. So um, yeah, these will just melt off in the shower. So I don't mind putting those on the top of my soap at all. And they look really pretty. So let's get everything pulled together and make these wonderful goat milk rose quartz bars. So I've got all the oils and butters melted and ready to go in here. And what I have is organic colloidal oats and kale and clay. Uh, and the fragrance is in here because I know it behaves well and I want it in everything. So that's what's blended in here. And I kind of blended it up and let it sit and anchor in there. Over here I have my goat milk lye solution, which has um, a tablespoon of organic cane sugar, tussa silk fibers, and just a touch, about a half a teaspoon of titanium dioxide just to keep it on the lighter side because it did yellow up a bit. So now I'm going to um, run it through a strainer in case there's any milk solids or anything with farm fresh milk. It's got a lot of good stuff in there, cream and all that, but I just want to make sure it's nice and smooth going into the soap. And then I'll just hand stir this to emulsion and then we'll split off for our colors and stick blend as needed. Alrighty, let's get this all stirred in. Oh, this rose quartz fragrance is just beautiful. And it sticks around really nice in a finished soap after the cure. So um, again, it's rose quartz from Bee Scented. It works well, it doesn't accelerate trace, and it smells great after the cure. So I would give it a two thumbs up. If you wanna check it out, it's a good one. All right, we've got emulsion here. So I'm going to pour off a little for my bottom layer. And I'm going to stick blend that to a nice thick trace because um, I want it to thicken up. There we go. Set that off. And it's my beautiful rose clay. I'll put a nice heaping teaspoon in there. And then I'm just going to add a teeny, teeny, like maybe a quarter teaspoon of pink slippers. Oh, maybe just a little more there. All right, let's get this blended up and get it poured down in the bottom. All 
All right, we're gonna let that set up for a minute and we'll come in and texture and then get moving on. While that's setting up, go ahead and split off for our top swirly layer. It's been about 24 hours, actually more like 20, 20 hours, 21 hours, um, but I think we're ready to unmold here on our goat milk rose quartz. So pretty, and this fragrance sticks around really nice. Let's get it out of the mold and see what we've got. So I have these with the little sugar pearls on the downside to help reduce drag marks. Let's get in here and see how that in the pot swirl came out. So pretty and the mica line is just very delicate but it's there and it kind of complements the top. These are pretty and the little bumps are just from the cutting wire. 